Hello there, everyone. We are beginning a new series about developing relationships. It is so important for our next generation to be empowered in finding out ways to learn to develop healthy relationships. Additionally, through this, we're going to talk about a very, very sensitive topic. This topic has to do with race and religion. Wow. What will you use in your life to make a difference? What is your call to action in order to have a transfer of power and look at some of the main topics that are actual strongholds in our church environment dealing with race and race issues. This is such a powerful subject. Many avoid it at great cost. The question is, are you part of the problem or part of the solution? Do you know the true definition of racism and prejudice? It's been said that we need to come up with a new definition of what racism actually is. What is your call to action? What are some of the things that we need to do that actually deflect racism? What about this term we hear very often called white entitlement? Wow, I was recently reminded that blessed are the peacemakers. How is the church dealing with racial tension? We, have, we hear some new terms about some of the needs have to do with us gaining new compassion, empathy, and having honest confrontation in order to open up conversations. Is segregation still alive and well? Wow. What is systemic racism? Let's talk about it. What about oppression? Is it still out there? Is it the church still a safe place to bring all of our fears and our concerns? Is the church remaining silence? Yes, silenced. Is the church silenced in the reality of having these uncomfortable but needed conversations? Let's stay connected with all the possibilities of having these new conversations about racism, prejudice, and overcoming that within the church body. Thanks for listening. This is Dr. Kim Eagles. Make sure you stay tuned for our upcoming series.